I've been working on a lot of new music lately. I just put out a song with Alesso that came out a few weeks ago called In My Feelings. And we have more that we are working on at the moment. I also have more solo singles and some more collabs as well. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of music coming out in the next months throughout the, the this year, basically. And I'm also touring again. It's, it's uh, yeah, we're all happy that finally we can be back on the road again. So yeah, everything is good right now. The touring is really, um, it, it's, it's a huge factor for inspiration uh, in the studio. So during the pandemic, this was, this was really tough because uh, the whole touring aspect was completely missing. And even though there was so much more time in the studio, and you would think that the more time you have in the studio, the more output you will, you will have, that was actually not really the case because, uh, yeah, the touring was completely missing. And, and, and that's just, it's such a huge uh, source of inspiration. So right now being back on the road helps so much. And, and uh, that's really, that helped me a lot to increase my output again uh, and get more focused on, on um, you know, the important questions like what kind of music actually works for for sets? What what are the kind of tracks that I want to play right now? What are maybe some songs uh, of my own that I'm missing in my set right now? So those are like the key questions that I ask myself in the studio and that determines like what kind of song am I going to work on next? That's always so hard to describe in words, you know, because it's a it's a feeling, like you say. So to put that in words is a bit difficult, but I'm trying to go back a bit to to my original roots. So kind of like, you know, where I started off in in uh, in those years, like 2012, 20, 2013. So I'm taking that groove and just modernizing the productions in a way, if that makes sense. Those are kind of like the the, the songs I'm working on right now. So um, it's I would say it's it's energy wise it's between house and edm so i'm trying to make songs that kind of like could work in um in sets for for you know for both genres if that makes sense uh Honestly, that uh, that kind of depends on the territory where I'm playing because from what I'm experiencing right now, it's all a bit divided. So when I come to the US here, I usually play a lot of tech house and house and then I start like that and then I build it up and then towards more towards the end of my set, I would play some of the EDM songs and stuff like that. While when I go to Asia, for example, it's a lot more EDM. While there, I barely play tech house. So it really depends where I go. Um, but, but generally, I just try to create a story with my set that makes sense from start to finish, energy-wise. Honestly, I always used to get very inspired by pictures. For me, I started out by producing, not by being a DJ. And, and so, so I would just sit in my, in, my, in my tiny home studio at the time, in the beginning when I started out. And I was also not a person who would go out a lot. So I, I rarely went out to clubs when I was younger. I mean, as a teenager and, and you know, my uh, early 20s as well, like not so often. Also, I didn't go to many festivals. I never went to the US in the beginning, for example. So so it was more like an idea in my head and then um, pictures were a big inspiration for me so I would watch videos for example I would uh, I remember very vividly how the idea for one of my biggest songs tone came up which was um, when I was watching some videos of ultra music Miami so I was just watching these videos of the festivals and I had the videos on YouTube running on a second screen you know, while producing, and I just had it running on the on on the, on the other <laughs> on the other monitor, and I was just watching it with one eye, and just like trying to get into that mood and just trying to picture like what kind of song would work there, but just trying to feel the vibe, and then uh, working on music. So that always has worked for me, trying to connect pictures with with uh, with sound. It's always a battle, honestly. It's always a battle. So the more technical you try to go the more you lose the creativity. And it's always that battle, constantly, right? So um, you just gotta try to keep yourself in check. Um, so, so I try to pay attention sometimes um, when I start an idea and then I feel like um, I take the core idea, but then immediately I jump into the details of the mixing. Then um, I try to be self-aware, and when I realize, okay, wait a second, you know, it's 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 too soon to to dive into these details. Then I try to stop myself, and I try to go back into the creative process because it can really stop it there, and then you just you're just killing the vibe if you're going into too deep into the technical stuff too soon, and then. 
sometimes it's also the other way around. So you're just like um, experimenting and experimenting with the musical ideas. And then sometimes uh, you have a good idea already, but you don't realize it. And because you try to keep experimenting more and, and coming up with more ideas, you give up that idea and then move on to the next. You kind of like may, might lose an idea that was actually good. Um, while you could have taken that and then move on to the technical side and try to mix it and make it good. So that's, it, it goes both ways. But generally, I think it's, it's, um, it's a good idea to try to be self-aware of your process and also get feedback. I had a couple of my idols that I was looking up to, and I still do, do until today. Uh, so there's a couple of artists that you will say, okay, those are my idols, those I'm looking up to, and, and um, maybe eventually I want to become someone like like those guys that's and that is great i think everyone should have idols i think it's really important if you don't have anybody that you're looking up to then you have no perspective like i think it's really really important actually and i see some guys that don't have it and i try to explain to them you should have an idol someone you look up to like that's that's the, you know that's a target that's a goal but what you should not try to do is copy what they have done so because that's it's just not gonna work every artist has their own path and is there just too many factors involved that also you don't know about that might have you know influenced that artist's career and and that is so important so and you don't know all these factors so you just you just can't copy it and and also that artist is already there people already you know why why want to you want to be a copy of that artist it just doesn't make sense so but still um, you you want to have somebody to look up to but then make your own version of it and just take that as an inspiration and maybe also not just have one or two but try to have a couple of artists as, as inspiration but yeah make your your own vision and your own plan and your own ideas for for everything for your brand for your marketing for your sound and today also it just I mean everybody knows this but it involves more than just the music itself alone right it's also a lot about the big picture it's everything that goes into it